The Minister of Defense, Mohamed Badaru, says the federal government is committed to restoring security for peace and harmony in the communities affected by ethno-religious conflict in Plateau State. The minister said on Sunday during a meeting with warring communities in the state, Trustees Adomusa has more. The minister's visit comes amid the growing insecurity in Plateau State, including banditry and farmer harder clashes that have resulted in loss of lives in recent times. The minister and the general officer commanding three division, Nigerian Army, Major General Abdisalami Abubakar, inspected the Guard of Ono at the Maxwell Kobe Contourment, proceeded to the military pavilion where he addressed troops of division and Operation Safe Heaven. He charged them to be professional in their conduct and assure them that adequate measures have been put in place for their welfare. I really need to acknowledge through your efforts the numerous reforms that you have received from the bad guys, as well as ammunition, as you have posted so many local arms producing parties. We thank you for that effort. We urge you to continue to do the same, and we urge you to end it and end it now. Are we ready to end insecurity in the plateau? Yes, sir. The minister also engaged stakeholders in various local council areas, including Wasi, Bokos, Barikiladi, Mongu, and Riom, on how to find lasting solutions to the perennial insecurity in the state. Meeting, you have seen the representative of the governor sitting. Uh, you have seen the security agencies. You have seen the local government chairman of the five affected local governments. You have seen all the major stakeholders, religious leaders, the Haradors, the Pulani leaders, and the Hausa leaders. Everybody is here. And we spoke frankly. And I represent the federal government. There are recommendations that are being uh, sent to the state, are recommendations that the federal government will look into. General Officer Commanding 3 Division, Nigerian Army, Major General Abdesalami Abubakar, described the minister's visit as timely, saying the Nigerian Army has put in place measures toward handling the conflicts in the state. Your esteemed presence here today will add personal touch and impetus to the deliberations. This meeting will also afford the Honorable Minister of Defense another unique opportunity to appraise both the kinetic and non-kinetic efforts which we have employed towards protecting the lives and property of the citizenry. Other stakeholders said they look forward to a peaceful coexistence among ethnic groups in the state. Well, one of the major things we noticed is just an issue of understanding. Issue of understanding, one, between all the parties involved, and then secondly, trying to get people to give or accept some concessions in order for us to have you know, genuine peace within the state. The thing is turning up to give us the best of uh, what we are looking for for quite a long time, that's peace, and uh, you know, we succeed by discussing uh, on a round table and by the discussion today it has proven that uh, by coming together we will achieve the desired goal. The minister's visit is believed by many to be a morale booster for the troops and hopefully it will be foster peaceful coexistence in the state. Adomusa, Trust TV News, Joss.